Okay. So. To pick my charge level. Ah, oh, it's ready. There we go. So, all set. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Check it out. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Interesting. Hmm. New wheel covers. New wheel covers on the Y. That's a real-world drive model. Interesting. All right, let's unplug. Let's get started! Ha <laughs> I'm back, baby. It's been a long time since I made one of these videos. Uh, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I'm in big trouble with this car, and with that, with the with the van as well. Actually, my EMV. Um, and so I've been thinking about getting a new car. Was, we were planning on getting um, we wanted to get like something like a at first a K car. And you know, there's that. Remember that car I used to have the inbox. I was thinking about buying a used one and get a fairly affordable uh, for the used second gens. I love the, that generation. Um, fun to drive, 50 miles a gallon. Small tank though, you only get like, jeez. I think my best time I ever got, my best mileage I ever got was 300 miles. So we were thinking about getting that because it's a great car. However, <clears throat> it's it's extremely government regulated. Uh, size, engine power, output, um, everything. Fuel, fuel tank size, everything's regulated on that thing, really, really strict. And as well as occupancy, um, you could only carry four passengers at a time. So it really wouldn't come in handy for like when I need it for work and stuff. Um, so we thought, okay, we'll try something else. And I, I really like the CX-5s, Mazda CX-5s. Those are really nice. I love that red red color paint and everything. I've been wanting one since it first came out. And uh, so we thought about buying a used one of those. But um, the reason why I was pretty good on those. And the new prices are outrageous pretty much for that kind of car. But yeah, so I was looking at all kinds of cars. And uh, so we're still working on it. We're trying to figure out what what we can do um, in this situation. We really don't want, we don't want car payments. We've had, I've gone almost two years without car payments. It's been nice. It's been so nice not having car payments. You feel rich. Nissan sold their entire charger network to some third party. And so that's third party took over and the prices and rates and the, everything is, it's just, it's unfathomable. You, you might as well buy a gasoline car. The rates are ridiculous, especially for a small battery pack. Um, you might be better off with the way they charge. You're actually better off with a larger capacity battery pack with a, with a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack. No good. So we decided we better get rid of one of these cars. We're paying insurance on it. You know, um, I had to do the shock in and I don't want to do any more shock ins. Not with a electric car, I just really can't use much. I'm sorry I did a shock in the first place. I thought it would raise this resale value. It didn't help at all. See, that's the reason why I'm really angry at Nissan. Nissan, when they did that thing, I, if you watched my previous video, where I was ranting about what happened with the battery pack, and if you, you don't understand, but if you didn't watch the video, here's it in a nutshell. Nissan took away all their service to the batteries. 
So my car is nine years old, a little over nine. And um, last year, last summer, when we're out, when we're out driving, the battery f flipped out. The battery pack flipped out. Almost didn't make it to the charger. But I did find one cell. It's weak. One, there is one bad cell. And if you guys know anything about uh, EVs, it just takes one bad cell to ruin the whole battery pack. And so I took over to Nissan because I know they they service the cells individually. And they said we don't do it anymore. I was like, what? They said they said they don't do it anymore. We don't do it anymore. You don't offer that? That was, that was one of the big things you offered. You, you talked and bragged about with these battery packs and these cars when I first bought it. You, you don't offer it? No, we don't offer it. It's like, oh, fine. Well, what is a, what What would it cost to replace the battery pack? They got back to me, and it was $18,000 to replace a 24-kilowatt-hour battery pack. I'm like, no, I can't do that. That's ridiculous. I might as well buy a car. It's the price of a car. When I was out looking for cars, the best deal I could find was $700 for a trading value on this car. Even though I just spent $700 on the shock it doesn't even cover, it barely covers the shock -in. The car's worth nothing to these people. Nobody wants to buy it because there's no battery um, service. They don't, the Nissan won't service the batteries and there's no battery, I mean, you can't afford a battery replacement on it. It's ridiculous. So we're like, that's why we decided we need to get rid of this car. The insurance is, you know, uh, it's just wasting my money. I'm not using it much anymore. We use the van mostly. Side note, it has been a long time. I am having a heck of a time. <laughs> heck of a time trying to do this right. Uh, I just forgot something. I just realized I forgot something. I'll be right back. Okay, back. Another thing I realized is I'm a lot more self-conscious talking to a camera. <laughs> camera phone. In my own house, even. <clears throat> it's been so long. So anyways, I want to bring this up. I want to talk about this. So this program is coming to an end. In this month and uh you know nissan totally is pretty much said a few to the to the ev people the people who bought the leafs and the arias over here um with the way they're doing the battery situation and uh they destroy the value of most of the used cars out there and so i was just i'm just done with nissan done with electric cars with nissan we were looking around at different cars, like maybe thinking about getting a second van or maybe an SUV or something like that. So just looking around and I look across the street and there's Tesla and I went over there and checked it out. And uh, things have changed. A lot has changed at Tesla um, since the last time I was there, which was when the three first came out available over here. Well, it must've been 2019. It was a little late getting over to Japan. I think 2018 or 19, I, I checked it out. And then they didn't have much for chargers. And the chargers would only go to 90 kilowatts of power. And, uh, you know, all that stuff. And so I was like, not interested. Son of a gun. Sorry about that. Um, just got a call from my daughter. I have to go pick her up. So we'll uh, continue this conversation later on in the car. Hi, guys. So I'm back. <clears throat> my... My daughter's gonna be the cameraman today. <clears throat> At least right now. Sorry, a second. <coughs> Dang. I have allergies right now, sorry about that. Still getting over the allergies, so I'll be completely over them within a couple of weeks, I think. Uh, it was really bad this year. Anyway, so uh, getting back to what I was talking about, um, I just wanna say, first of all, in no way, in no way, Am I like endorsing Tesla on some thing? Tesla's the greatest. Oh, Saying that Tesla's the greatest company there is, or anything like that. Not at all. I still am very angry at them. I just want to clear that up and make sure that you all understand that I am still not at all in any way, in shape, form, or anything endorsing Tesla and that company and that stupid Elon Musk. Okay, we got it figured out. We got it. We got it. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fanboy. It's all figured out, right? We got it all good. Okay. Um, I just, I kind of like the cars, but I'm not a big fan of Tesla. You know that I'm not a fanboy. I'm, I'm not a fanboy, okay? Okay. What are you doing? It's really sunny and I'm just working on my skin. So I want to get my There we go. Let's go. Come on. All right, back in the car. Just got done eating. Feel much better now. That was actually pretty good. It was 
the meat the meat was a little chewy but yeah pretty good anyways uh what was i saying oh yeah i'm not a fanboy <laughs> um but in all honesty uh right now i uh well, at least in Japan right now, Tesla's the only option you got. Uh, Nissan, I think it's just because they're so torqued off at Carlos. They just, there's such a bad taste in their mouth about Carlos in, the, in the, with that situation that they don't want anything, any remnants of Carlos's legacy left behind. They're just, now they're focusing on that. The hybrids, the e-power hybrids. So, yeah. So if you, if you're, and I still do like EVs know that um, the only other option I would have is, is uh, Tesla so I went there checked it out and uh, I was pleasantly surprised about the charger networks have completely changed um, they have a lot more than the last time I checked and they go as far as 250 kilowatts over here even just like America they got 250 kilowatts we have level 3 chargers now you guys can get you turn the, you guys can get the Tesla Model Y right now in America for uh, after after the tax rebate of seventy five hundred. You can get it for it's like thirty four thousand, thirty five thousand dollars, and uh, that's ridiculous. That's like I I would say after checking, I never saw one before until I went and checked it out that day. After just looking at it and sitting in it, I would say, what? Why aren't you buying it? That's a that's a crazy good deal on a Tesla electric you know even if it's an entry-level rear-wheel drive model it's really good price it's hard to i don't understand that because that's that's really good that's impressive if i was to buy one it'd be sixty thousand dollars for me to buy the same vehicle over here yeah. so yeah uh it is what it is with uh what's going on with the evs over here a, a nissan leaf over here 40 kilowatt hour leaf over here starts at over 60 over six million in equipment is like if we had like i said we had a dollar amount it'd be over sixty thousand dollars over here uh that's ridiculous it's very dated technology the interior is the same as the first gen pretty much except for the dashboard the seats are the same the door panels are the same just the dash has changed and it's an uglier dash so the next next affordable electric car would be a tesla a model s or y now they have a brand new s over here that the revamped s or not sorry not s3 they have a new three over here revamped three and it's the exact same price as the you know as the current y which is crazy because that's actually a pretty good deal the revamp three is it's sexy the revamp three is super sexy that is a good looking car i was gonna take a drink but i'm gonna do it after all <laughs> i took my wife and my daughter on a drive because my daughter would be sitting in the back most of the time so i want her with me and we test drove the y and then we test drove the brand new three and the three was amazing. It's the, now the trunk, the brake lights are separated from the trunk. It looks kind of cool how, how that is. A little smoother opening doors. It's so funny. Like I was watching, this is a shout out to Jeeves. Guys, if you like, if you like uh, Tesla videos, check out Jeeves channel. G-J-E-E-B-S. -E -E I, I found him recently and he's just hilarious. He's very much like me. A lot of this, you know, thoughts about EVs and stuff. He's the one that made that comment about, it's a sad day when a Tesla owner gets excited about the sound a door makes when you shut it. <laughs> but it's true. The, the new threes, the doors sound awesome when you shut them. It's like a nice, dust. you know, the interior lighting, that ambient lighting is really nice. The little rear monitor, um, which is funny because China, EVs are so big in China. And Chinese love all their accessories like they can install themselves. Uh, the three and the Y have had that little rear screen with the with the touch control to operate the climate control and seats and stuff. They've had that for a long time. So it's a third party, you can you, uh, is, you buy it from AliExpress, and it's like between two hundred to three hundred dollars, and you can install it yourself. Super easy to install, and so it's kind of funny. Tesla finally started doing that themselves. I thought she was gonna love it. She's like, that is dumb. It's too low. It's too small to watch anything decent on it. It's no, it's no good. And she did not like the leg room in the back of the three. She started laughing. She said, I don't. I would never use that screen. Maybe I'd move the seat once in a while or, or turn the seat heater on. But she said, I don't. I'm, I'm, it's not important to me. I'd rather have the better leg room and the nicer car. She was not impressed by the model th new Model Three. I was kind of shocked because I like the styling of it. Um, so she wasn't impressed by that screen or the interior lighting. So she's like, No, I want the more leg room. I want the more comfier seats. And uh, so 
Uh, so yeah, I play. I want. I place an order for the new Y. I know, All right, guys? I'm going Tesla. I know. I always wanted to, but I never thought I'd be able to. And I really, technically, I really probably can't afford to do it right now. They're not cheap. I'm, I'm paying fifty nine thousand of my dollars. You know, five million nine hundred thousand yen to buy this car. I don't have any credit card debt. I don't have any other car payments or bike payments or anything. So I felt like, yeah, I can, I can afford the monthly payment on this new one. I, I worked it out with the loan. It was a 1.9% interest loan, which is nice. It was really funny. After we took the test drives of both cars, and I, I said, I talked to my wife, and she got, she loved, she fell in love with the Y. More than me, I think. Because I looked at her, she said, oh, yeah, let's do it. I was like, really? I was, like, shocked. I thought for sure she would fight me, but no, she's like, let's do it. So I put the hundred dollars down and the dealer helped me do all the thing. I chose the white interior, chose the pearl white uh, body color. And I like the white, I like the, I think the white with the black, the black top and uh, you know, and if you get the, you know, if you get the 20 inch wheels, it looks really great with that contrast, black door handles and the black wheel. Um, so the white looks great. And I also, over here in Japan, they, the banks encourage you to buy white because it, it raises the resale value. White is the most, that's the best car for for uh, resale value over here. Um, so uh, we we like the white, and we get it for free over here. Like that color is free over here. It's the only free color. Everything else is pretty expensive. And I went for the white interior because I just wanted to brighten up the interior even more. My wife likes light light interiors. We had a our first you know our, our first leaf we bought that had a cream color interior. She loved that. We she hates this. She doesn't like the interior. This used black one we bought. Um, it comes with a premium sound system standard, so that's cool. Even though it's a rear-wheel drive model, it has a premium sound system and a 13, 13 speaker sound system. Uh, and uh, so we went for that, and I was all happy. Went home, started watching Jeeves some more, like Jeeves, shout out to Jeeves. Uh, watched some more of his videos, and he was giving in details on the 2023 model, what it has and stuff. And I started realizing, well, wait a minute, mine doesn't have the carpet in the trunk like that. Mine doesn't have the, the little, uh, cover in the trunk. Mine doesn't have uh, uh, what else was it? The hardware three. Mine doesn't have. And then and then I, I so I went I went. They had a grand opening. I'll show some video at the local mall over in Makuhari. They had a grand opening over there. I was invited to it. I checked it out. It was pretty um, sad. It was basically a couple photographers and mostly Jap mostly Tesla staff with like three other non-staff people watching the event, the ribbon cutting. And it just, it once again reinforced my idea that this, that's just like, that's not how Tesla would do it. A grand opening would not look like that. It looked, it was so stuffy and old fashioned and what you expect from an Asian car company. Uh, it wasn't, it just didn't have a Tesla feel to it. Uh, anyway, so there's some video there, and, uh, and that's where I got that that umbrella I used for that little little gag I did earlier. But I was when I was talking to my uh, my sales guy, which guy, there's a name they like to use. I don't know what the name is. Uh, when I was talking to the sales guy, I was helping me. He started talking, and I said, "It doesn't have this, doesn't have this." And he says, "Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have that." And I said, "Well, what about the Matrix headlights? Does it have the Matrix headlights?" And he checked with the service era, service people, and they said, no, it doesn't come with Matrix headlights. So and that really flipped me out. I was like, are you kidding me? There's so many things that come with the, if I buy the same car in America, the same wine in America, uh, it, I have more options. It comes with more software. That my breaking point is those Matrix headlights. I really don't want those. Because I'm planning to hold this for a long time. Eventually, the software's going to get update, updated. They're actually going to work over here. It'll be great for me because I have kind of hard time driving at night. You know, when you get a certain age, it gets a little harder. And people, especially when they blind you, people, other people blind you with their stupid headlights. And it's almost like night blindness. I'm not that bad, but it, it's getting harder. I was looking forward to those headlights. I like cars with bright lights anymore because it helps me with my visibility at night. So he pulled me by the arm, pulled me outside. He said, I, I, I got a secret. I can tell you guys this now because it's now past the, the time. But he says, I, got, I, I can't tell you. I'll get fired. But I'm just, he says, I just want you to hold on. Just don't cancel yet. Just hold on, wait till the first. Wait till first of April. First, wait till April 1st. Because he couldn't be specific. He says, I'll get fired, I can't tell you anything, but there's something happening on the first. Just wait for the first. And uh, first came, and uh, what it did, what they did is they did a model refresh. So I guess it's got hardware four now. Um, it always had the matrix headlights, another thing I'll go into later. But uh, turns out nobody over here 
they're not trained well, the service people. They didn't even know what the, what the car had. Those were matrix headlights it had. I did my own research. I did a lot of homework, a lot of research online and stuff, and I found out it does have the matrix headlights. Um, so yeah, that, so what they did is they did a minor refresh. We do have the Quicksilver. I know you guys in America are always, are always excited about the Quicksilver. They thought the Quicksilver was gonna be put on the brand new refreshed Model Y, but that's been delayed. Elon's saying no, not this year. I don't know what's, what's going on with that. He doesn't want to release it yet. But um, uh, we have it. They brought the Quicksilver over here. It's a good looking car, but it's wicked expensive. And I'm not going to go. It'll take, it'll take me over $61,000 uh, for that car. And it's still, for the most part, it's a 2023. I'm finally getting the 2023. Yeah, it's a 2023 with new hubcaps and, uh, and new pink paint options, basically. And so, now I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Um, pay for that. It, it's a nice I mean, it's a good looking color. I think it, it, the sample they gave was like, I bet it looks even better in real life, but man, it was, looks good. And also has a new red that the new, the new uh, S, X, and 3 have. Yeah, they did give uh, give us that option too. I love that color too. It reminds me very much like the CX-5, the Mazda CX-5 color. Um, but my wife made a good point. She's like, oh, the tons of Mazdas look like that out here. It was blending with them. Also, it's probably going to be a very popular color along with the Quicksilver. You're just going to see it when people do start buying it, it's just going to be nothing but red and Quicksilver Ys over here. It's going to be uh, a flooded market. So, we, you know, stick with the white, you know, it's cheap. And there's a lot of whites out there because it is the free color, but I'm not going to pay that much money for a car that just blends in with all the other cars too. So that's stupid too. Might as well do it for free, right? Um, so... Yeah, and then we do get new wheel covers. They went to the black turbine style wheel covers, so they kind of look like the twenty inch uh, wheels you get when you buy the uh, when you buy the upgrade wheels, the twenty inch that come on the on the cars. Kind of, they now look like that, but they're still nineteens with the with the black wheel cover. It looks really good. So uh, yeah, so now I just have to wait till June to get my two thousand twenty three brand new two thousand twenty three uh, Y. Compared to what I've been driving, the range is five hundred five kilometers on there. And that's 505 kilometers. It's 315, 316 miles of range because the speeds are so low over here. And I have a LifePo. The LifePo is an amazing battery pack. The only downside to, to me is the weight. LifePos are very heavy. But since they took that front motor out, it's so a real-world drive, they took the front motor out, it, it balances fine. It's, it's fine for them. That's why they only can do it in the real-world drives. Thanks to Jeeves, I was watching him. He drove the single motor and he was really impressed. He's like, wow, the power? Is really similar. It's just off the line. You noticed it, but once once you get about thirty miles an hour, it kicks in and boom, it feels the same. The acceleration is crazy good, um, and it's just like a little bit of difference. And uh, he was really impressed by the power for a single motor. He also was impressed by the steering. It's like it's a really nice steering because it doesn't have that front motor with a drive you know drive shaft hooked to the wheels. It's very nice and light and very. It's a very comfortable. Duh. That's why a lot of luxury cars are real drive only. It's a, it's a much more comfortable ride. And uh, so yeah, so he likes that. So that's cool. Some of you guys, you know, you're long, the long time viewers, you might be like a little angry at me because uh, I, I'm going to Tesla, but I really didn't have a choice really if I want to stay electric. And I do want to stay electric because I can plug it into my house, charge it up overnight, because I already have the charger. And, and it's not a powerful charger, but this isn't a crazy big battery pack either in the, in the you know, rear wheel drive model. I can charge up overnight, and I, dude, I, I probably get a week of use almost out of that. Even though Tesla says you shouldn't do that, I mean, I, I, we just don't drive that much. But I hope you enjoyed the content today. Please let me know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up, give a like, um, and uh, remember to hit that uh, notification thing. If, uh, renew it, renew it. I've been, my, my channel's been dormant for a long time, so renew it. The thumbs ups are really important when I, the channel's been dormant for so long. Uh, if to get my videos uh, heard out there, I need you guys to give a like. And I need you to renew the the, um, the notifications. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.